I am going to model how to make complete sentences, pausing along the way to get you to do some thinking of your own. Each sentence has a beginning and an end. The beginning tells who or what the sentence is about. The end tells about what that person or thing did, does, or will do. Let's try one. In the first sentence we have here, we have the words, the teacher, as the beginning. What we'll need to do first is we'll need to eliminate the period. We know that just the words, the teacher, don't make a complete sentence. Then we'll have to go over here and add an ending. You can go ahead and think of an ending for that sentence now. Remember that the end tells about what that person or thing did, does, or will do. I'll give you time to do that now. Now I'm looking at my sentence here, the teacher. I'm going to make up my own ending here. And I'm going to say, says, and then I'm going to put the next word in quotation marks. Hello to the students. The reason I put quotation marks around the word hello is because the first quotation mark tells us where the speaking here begins and the second set of quotation marks tells where the speaking ends. So my whole sentence now says, the teacher says hello to the students. What I noticed though is that the word says has a capital S. I'll have to make sure to make that a lowercase s because the only place that we'll need a capital letter in this particular sentence is at the beginning of the sentence. The teacher says hello to the students. Looking at my second sentence, I have the word lacrosse. I'm noticing this is the beginning of the sentence and it has a period after that. And I know that the word lacrosse by itself is not a whole entire sentence. So I'm gonna eliminate that period. Now we need to think of an ending to that sentence, lacrosse. Remember that the ending will tell about what that person or thing did, does, or will do. I'll give you some time to think of your own ending to that sentence right now. Now I'm going to go ahead and give my ending to that sentence, lacrosse, and I'm going to put here, is a great team sport to play, period. Now I'm noticing what happened again is that the word is had a capital letter in the middle of the sentence. So I'm going to make that a lowercase letter. Now I'm gonna read the whole sentence. Lacrosse is a great team sport to play. I really like that sentence and I think lacrosse is a great team sport to play. The next sentence I have here seems to be missing a beginning, but it does have an end. Jumped into the pool. We know that jumped into the pool all by itself could not be a whole sentence. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this capital letter in jumped and give it a lowercase letter. We know that that's the second part of the sentence. The first part, the beginning of the sentence, needs to be something that tells us who or what the sentence is about. So let's think about who or what might jump into the pool. I'm going to give you a minute to try it your, on your own. Great, I'm gonna go ahead and put my answer in here to the beginning of the sentence. Remember that there's many different ways to start this sentence. Who might jump into the pool or who did jump into the pool? What if I said, my dog jumped into the pool? That would make this a complete sentence. Let's try the next one. The next one is also missing a beginning, but it has an end. The end of the sentence says, waited patiently for directions. Again, with this ending, I'm noticing it's not a complete sentence, so we shouldn't be starting it with a capital letter. We'll give it a lowercase. So now I'm going to the beginning. 
who or what waited patiently for directions. Let's think, what would your idea be about who or what would wait patiently for directions? You can go ahead and give it your try now. I'm gonna go ahead now and put in an answer that I might choose. And because I like to teach and because I like to have students that are learning, I'm going to put the students and that will be who the sentence is about. So now I have the students waited patiently for directions. Great job. I hope that helped you learn about complete sentences.